CBS 17 News, tracking coronavirus. Vaccines are the key to moving us forward. I'm ready for that. I'm sure you are too. So I asked the governor if he has a target percentage of Governor the Roy Cooper is speeding up the timeline to make more people eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. Starting in just two weeks, every adult who wants to get a vaccine can get a spot in line. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rod Carter. I'm Angela Taylor. With the governor's announcement today, that gives people in vaccine groups one through four just two weeks to get their vaccine before even more people start booking those appointments. New at 11, CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco is live getting answers about where you can find a vaccine right Right now, Mac. Well, Angela, there are a lot of places where you can sign up to get the vaccine, but actually skipping the wait and getting a spot in line varies by the day. Beyond the health department, hospitals, and big pharmacies, you can request a vaccine from at least 59 other places in Wake County, including dozens of small local pharmacies like A to Z in Cary. We started giving the vaccines February 23rd, and we've done over 100 a week since then. It's been a lot of work. I've had two volunteers come and help with answering the phones and scheduling and doing some of the paperwork. Hey, pharmacy, this is Kristen. Can I help you? Owner and pharmacist Kristen Moore says they're working through their batch of second doses. Wake County teacher Kara D'Amico got hers today. Well, I had another teacher friend call me, let me know that A to Z was doing shots, and they called, got a next day appointment, and they've been fantastic. So this is my second shot. Chances are you'll have to wait. Moore tells me her pharmacy is working through a wait list and won't get a new supply of first doses until April 20th. I think a lot of the pharmacies are kind of in that same boat because we all kind of started the same week or two weeks. So there's not a lot of first doses available for from the smaller pharmacies. Now today, Governor Cooper said that the state does plan on uh, does plan on allowing more doctors' offices to administer the vaccine. He says one of the issues, though, is that the Pfizer vaccine requires extra cold storage in special freezers. He says as more Johnson and Johnson doses become available, that's when we'll begin to see more doctors offer the vaccine. For now, live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.